Hello, I'm Avril Lehman and I've been the person communicating with you for a while uh, and I believe you've been interested in our white paper. And so I just thought I would turn up in person and tell you a little bit about a piece of work that we've been doing that would illustrate some of the ways in which we work. Anne read the white paper on why gender initiatives fail and it rang a bell with her because in her firm they had lots of good interventions. There was a lot of discussion and a lot of talk on senior women. Um, and they were doing quite well at getting women to the senior levels. However, their problem was about retention. Women would get to these positions and then sometime afterwards they would leave. And so the assumptions and the questions were, were women really up to it? Could they not stand the heat? Were they going back to the kitchen? And in fact, um, their numbers were slipping back despite all their good attentions, intentions. In actual fact, they discovered that the women weren't going home, they were going to competitors, often at better salary levels, but more importantly, they were going to people that they felt walked the talk in terms of values and behaviors. And so Anne was very interested in our take on this question of behavior in the workplace. But what to do? They'd spent quite a lot of money uh, on women's um, interventions. Should they go on doing it if they were just going to keep losing the women? Should they cut their losses? Well, what we did was we worked with Anne to really analyse where the issues were occurring, what they were about. And in fact, we found there were key variables and it turned out to be a bit of a local issue and entirely related to leadership. So she could build a specific case for very purposeful interventions. Those interventions mainly focused on, on leadership, as I say, in specific locations, and with a very behavioural turn to it. What did people actually need to do? This was not theoretical leadership, it was very specific, helping them work out how to change the position, change the way that people behaved in their or part of the organisation. And so they got results by addressing one issue after another until they were resolved. And the reason I'm telling you this is that you can waste a lot of money in the sort of general sheep dip or the very intellectual discussions. Um, most people don't want to go through a tick box exercise. They want something that really works. And we usually have to look at what specific behaviours can we get to change so that people know that you're really wanting to live by the values that you're espousing. Thank you. Hope that story helped.